ver, yo el domingo tengo algo muy importante también en NXT, por eso voy a estar por acá. Ok, so, this is a great show. Yes. And we always start talking about morning and food and everything as we do, as we did now, right? That we started with cheesecakes. <laughs> so, I want to know, how is the morning in, in your life? You know, this morning I had oatmeal with some peanut butter, blueberries, and a banana. But normally, I actually usually have oatmeal later on in the day, just because I like oh, it gives you energy and it keeps you full for longer. Um, but I normally have a toasted English muffin with lots of Philadelphia cream cheese, lots and lots and lots of Philadelphia cream cheese, more than you could imagine. And then put it with some spinach and some smoked salmon. Mmm, oh, so funny. And I have my coffee, I have my green tea sometimes, I'll have my water, and then we're off. That's how I start my day. Oh. Okay, wow. But I think that kind of breakfast is, it sounds a little bit like UK breakfast. Okay. Right. Hmm? Yes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a typical breakfast, right? Yes, and you could, I mean, another UK one is, you know, you know, I'm sure the, the guys and the girls in Cardiff this week will be enjoying it. You've got baked beans on toast. You've got um, a Scottish fry up, an English fry up, a full breakfast where you have sausage, bacon, you have egg, oh, your potato scone, you have mash. Mm. Oh. oh, they're going to enjoy wow. it. Wow. So yummy. Okay, okay. So. Después, ahorita estamos hablando acerca de lo que está desayunando, eh, eh, lo que desayuna normalmente Nikki Sage y me dice que, que ella desayuna muy inglés. O sea, esta cuestión, por ejemplo, de el muffin con el montón de queso crema y le pone también el salmoncito y eso es como completamente inglés. Y me dijo, bueno, pero seguramente los chicos van a disfrutar de un desayuno realmente delicioso. Que con los, como lo habíamos platicado, ¿se acuerdan que con los frijoles y estas cosas deliciosas? Pero hoy su mañana, hoy se desayunó un bote de avena, eh, de la avena con eh, blueberries, o sea, con moras azules y eh, con crema de maní. Así que, yummy, yummy, yummy. Muy bien. So, um, now... You say that you love cheesecakes, and that's why I really love you as well. <laughs> What is the name? I, I want to know about your, your routine, because you, you, you have an amazing and impressive physique. So do you have, like, kind of secrets that you want to share with us? Um, you know, I just try and do a lot. You know, I just try and exercise, you know. Um, I just try and get moving every day you know sometimes it'll just be like you know my body needs more recovery and i'll just do light cardio or i'll do some walking or i'll just do some stretching or i'll you know try and loosen up with some dancing you know um and i just really try even on the day when my body needs the most rest and recovery i'll try and do active recovery active rest and just really try and get the blood going through my muscles um and that's you know That's what I try and tend to do. And then you kind of make a habit out of it. It's all about, you know, consistency. Um, and, you know, and then I just try, and I, you know, I try and my husband is a fantastic cook. He's an amazing cook. So I really try and eat as much of his good home cooked meals with, meals with lots of vegetables. So things like curries and chilies and, um, you know, stir fries with just an easy way to get lots of vegetables Um, you know, just try and get as many, you know, to get your vegetables and eat your fruit. You know, yesterday, for instance, I had a, a lovely smoothie and it was, again, it's just an easy way to get a lot of fruit and vegetable in. Um, and I drink a lot of water. I really try hard and I try and stay hydrated. I actually need to drink a lot of water today. Um, and I just try and stay hydrated and I just... I just try and keep my body, just try, try and keep your body moving, rest when you have to, concentrate on recovery, and just really try to get sweat and get a good sweat on. It doesn't matter if you go for a walk or uh, do some dancing and just go and have fun with your friends. Like, you know, just try and always be moving. Okay, 
<laughs> okay, that's the best way. Because sometimes, for example, we we think if, if we start to thinking about the exercise or something, we're like, well, but it's so boring or something, right? But yeah. the point is, you just move your body, dancing or doing whatever, because it's you need it. You have to make it. I believe you really need to make it fun for yourself. And you know, sometimes I tap on the treadmill or the elliptical or the bike. I'll put on my favorite TV show or just something like you know, thirty minutes. Um, you know, we can watch some wrestling too, um, and just try and make it fun. Try and make your thirty minutes on the elliptical treadmill or whichever time you choose. Just try and make it fly in. You know, and just make it fun for yourself. Put on your favorite tunes. Put on your favorite music. Exactly, exactly. A ver, ahorita lo que estábamos hablando es que eh, me, yo le estaba preguntando, oye, ¿cómo le haces? Porque la neta es que pues, tienes un core power, ¿no? Y me dijo, bueno, pues es que lo que tengo que hacer es moverme. Y básicamente eh, lo que tienen que hacer todos ustedes es moverse. O sea, caminar, salir a bailar, como encontrar alguna forma que ustedes también les acomode para que no tengan esta idea como de, ay, no, es que hacer ejercicio es aburrido. No, 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 es súper sano también, porque pues también luego uno ingiere muchas más calorías de lo que debe, ¿verdad? Y si nosotros estamos como completamente sedentarios, pues eso no, no va a pasar. Y otra de las cosas importantes que dijo fue, manténganse hidratados. La hidratación es completa, o sea, lo necesitamos. Así que ya lo saben, consejos de Nikki ASH. Perfecto. Nikki, one of the nice stories uh, that I ever heard was um, that time was that time when you told us about the reason for your outfit. But mm -hmm. was, uh, I remember that it was in um, uh, Premia, in La Previa WWE. So, do you can can you share with us your story, please? The reason, you know, for me, I when I put on, you know, the cape and the mask and the superhero. I, you know, I feel like an actual superhero. I feel when I put on the outfit, for me, I just, I wanted to inspire the young girls in the audience, the, the young members of the WWE universe. Because when I first started watching WWE, I was, you know, transfixed by the, the, the divas, the female superstars. And I just wanted to make even just one person feel that way. You know, I was 10 years old when I first started watching WWE and I just knew I fell in love, you know, from the get-go and I really always wanted to try it. And so for me, you know, being in the business for 14 years, I just really wanted to give something back and I just really wanted to even just inspire one, one person, no matter their age, to feel super to feel something, to feel special, because we all are super, we all are special in our own little way, and, you know, we're the hero of our own story. So the whole thing, the whole reason why I put on the costume in the first place was to be more and to feel like more and to just really let people know that you don't have to put on a cape and a mask to feel like a superhero because you already are a superhero, you know. Um, and the, putting on the cape and the mask is just a bonus, you know, and I just... I feel larger than life when I put it on, you know, and I just love it. Mm, qué bonito, qué bonita historia. <laughs> Goosebumps. <laughs> Every time. <Friday. laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much because that's that's the thing. When you open your heart, um, that's why the people really loves you because they say like, oh my God, she's real. I know now how hard she's working just to to be there, you know? And, and thank you so much for that. No, I, yeah. Yeah. You, guys, you guys let me do what I, you guys let me do what I want to do, you know, and follow my heart and follow my dreams. So it's you guys that should, I should be thanking you guys. Que bonito. Pues estábamos hablando acerca del, um, pues de, del outfit que ella usa, del ring gear que ella usa para, eh, que es como una superheroína. Y yo le dije, oye, ¿cómo, ¿cómo es la historia? Y ella me dijo, bueno, pues es que todos somos superhéroes. No hace falta realmente que utilices eh, la máscara o utilices cualquier otra cosa porque tú ya eres una superheroína, un superhéroe, de verdad. Cuando trabajas muy fuerte, cuando haces las cosas, ahí es cuando tú eres una superheroína, un superhéroe. Entonces, 
No hace falta lo que, o sea, es más, todo lo que te diga la gente lo tienes que convertir y transformar tú para poder llegar a tus sueños. Entonces, ese es el mensaje que ella quiere dar, que no importa ni tu peso, ni tu color de piel, no importa nada, solo importan tus sueños, solo importa tu garra y hacia dónde quieras ir. Entonces, eso es súper, súper, súper bonito. So, I know that you're a fitness trainer. Do you prepare your own routines or do you have a personal trainer? Mm. For me, I, I like doing my, I like doing my thing. Like, I like to do my, um, I like to kind of just um, feel whatever my body's feeling. You know, I wake up and, uh, you know, I have structure in my routine um, with my fitness workouts, but I also listen to my body, you know, and I really just try and, my thing is I just want to feel good and I just want to get my body good, you know, so I'll do a lot of stretching and activation and I'll concentrate a lot of the warm-up. I'll concentrate a lot on the warm-ups. I think that's very important, especially as an athlete, And we're, you know, on Monday Night Raw, you know, with these WWE superstars, we need to, we're taking big bumps, you know, we're really putting our bodies on the line. So we want to make sure that we're staying healthy so we can continue to do what we love to do in front of the WWE universe. So for me, I'll concentrate a lot on the warm up and activating these muscles. And I'll do a mix of cardio, light cardio, intense cardio, interval training, weightlifting, weight training. Um, in recovery, you know, and I, I really focus on recovery too, and I think it's really important. Um, so for me, I like doing my own thing. I love hearing other people's ideas. I love collaborating. I love hearing what other people want to do, and I get some great ideas from other people. Um, but I usually just, you know, I put my music on and I just, I just do my thing. Oh, qué padre! But can you share with us as well your story? I mean. How do you start with uh, being a personal trainer, like a fitness trainer? Yeah, so for me, I was um, I was in Glasgow, I was in Glasgow, Scotland, and I was wrestling, and I was wrestling every weekend. And I decided to, you know, I've always been into fitness. I've always loved fitness. I did athletics, I did hockey, I did soccer. You know, I always, and I did dance school. I am just a huge fan of sports and fitness. I was always a tomboy. I was always a tomboy. <laughs> It's a great way to socialize, to meet friends, you know, really test yourself physically and emotionally and mentally. So for me, it seemed like such a natural shift. You know, I was at the University of Glasgow studying history and I have a bachelor's degree in history. And for me, I just wanted to make that move into the fitness world. And it went hand in hand with my wrestling goals. And it just made sense. It just felt like a glove. Orale. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I couldn't imagine that you really like all those kind of sports. Like, uh, yeah, like I love, love sports. Okay. Wrestling's number one, though. Wrestling's number one. Oh, yes, of course. And what is the second one? Uh, dance. Yeah, I like dance. Oh, yeah. Dance. You can dance anywhere. You can dance in a club. You can dance outside. You can dance in your garage gym. You can dance to warm up. You can dance just to feel good about yourself. You can dance with your friends, dance with your husband, dance with your loved one. And I just love it. I think dance is like wrestling. It, it brings people together. Yes. For me as well. Even, for example, sometimes if I feel sad or something, I think it's the best medicine for me. Just like I agree. at home, alone, yeah. and just yeah. like maybe doing some like weird movements or something. It there's doesn't no one, really you know, dance, always dance like there's no one watching. Yeah, that's great, right, right? I think so. I think so. <laughs> Muy bien. Bueno, <laughs> pues, este, ahorita, gente, lo siento, estoy como brincando una cosa a otra. Y la neta es que eh, me gusta muchísimo platicar con ella porque me dice que le ha gustado, o sea, los deportes. Bueno, ella es eh, entrenadora de fitness y le pregunté que de dónde venía, ¿no? Y me dijo, bueno, pues esto viene desde que yo, es, o sea, antes de entrenar eh, lucha, o sea, siempre me ha gustado la lucha, pero yo entrenaba todas, 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 todas las, o sea, todos los deportes que se pueden imaginar, que rugby, que, bueno, rugby, que todas, o sea, es más, ella se escribe, eh, bueno, ella dice que le gustaban tanto estos, este tipo de deportes que era una como chica chico, ¿no? 
Sin embargo, la neta, lo, algo bien padre que le pregunté fue, bueno, ¿y cuál es tu deporte favorito aparte de, de, de la lucha? Y me dijo, baile. Entonces, a pesar de que no le, o sea, a pesar de que le gustan todos estos deportes que según estos son para chicos, pues también le gusta muchísimo la danza, el baile, que es algo de las cosas más, más bonitas. Entonces me dijo, pues es que bailar lo puedes hacer tú sola, lo puedes hacer con tu amado, lo puedes hacer con tu novio, con tu familia, con todos. Y al igual que la lucha, necesitas a alguien también eh, para poder hacerlo, ¿no? Y yo le dije, ah, sí, yo también lo hago a veces nomás como para mm, sacar las cosas. So, I would like to remember, I would like to remember um, when you were team up with Alexa Bliss. Yes. So, I want to know, how was the moment when you won the championships? How do you feel? Which side? <laughs> no, when we won, the first time we won the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships, <laughs> it was August and it was, you know, it was, it was amazing. It was such a wonderful feeling and being able to share it with Alexa, who I as a person and as a worker and we get along you know, we get along fantastic you know we get along really well um that was such a great moment and then able to recapture the championships at wrestlemania and orlando you know from the performance center um that was so special we got to you know be you know two-time champions together and then you know i was lucky enough to win it for the third time with Rhea ripley Um, you know, and with the drop, maybe four four time tag team champion. You know, I I love tag team wrestling. I love how creative you can be. I love the stories. You have four people and it's just wonderful. I absolutely love tag team wrestling. And you know, I've had a lot of partners, so you know, so for me, um I've been able to work with Alexa. It was great. It was a great time in my career and I really look back on it very fondly. Ay, qué padre. Pues estábamos hablando ahorita acerca de Alexa Bliss cuando hizo equipo con ella y me dijo, bueno, fue maravilloso, fue fantástico, fue en agosto y la verdad es que a mí me gustó muchísimo estar con ella. Es una de las cosas que más me gusta hacer. Hacer equipo con una persona es como, pues, crecer en conjunto y seguir como escalando siempre, siempre, siempre. So now, you were Miss uh, Money in the Bank and actually, yeah, I remember that. And you... Everything. Well, did you change the 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 case for your? I mean, for your first opportunity for a royal title. I remember that. Um, so yeah. I want to know what about your thoughts on that moment when you were there, just like trying, and just like it was just you and you won. And how are the feelings about that? Oh my goodness, um, incredible. It was so surreal. It, and when, you know, I, I won Money in the Bank and then cashed in 24 hours later and won my first Raw Women's Championship. So for me, that was just the weirdest, most craziest, most surreal 24 hours. Um, and it, it's just, it was, it was an amazing achievement. And, you know, no one, uh, no one can ever take that from me. You know, no one can ever that no one can ever strike that from the record books. I was the Raw Women's Champion and I was the Money in the Bank winner. And it was just such a great, it was a great feeling, a really wonderful feeling. Mm -hmm. Do 
You know, I think, uh, you know, with we uh, the, the team had, you know, we were at, you know, we were at a crossroads. It's, we had lost our tag team championships to Zelina and Carmela, and we failed to regain them. And I feel that both the characters, both both we are Ripley and I, you know, it was time for a change for both of us. And that's when we kind of got, you know, Nikki ASH, a little bit villain, you know, a little bit of a villain. Um, for me, it was just it was time, you know, it was time to end the end the end the tag team, um, and it gave us both a chance to move on to other things. So, I'm very, you know, I think that was a great surprise for the WWE universe, and it was a great uh, moment to be a part of. And yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's I'm th you know, um, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, for me, it's, um, I'm very proud, you know, um, I can hear you. Can you hear me okay? You can hear me. Um, for me, it feels, um, it's such a, it's, I'm so proud, you know, I'm so proud. Okay, now, perfect. Can you hear me? I'm so perfect. Sorry. Is this some technical delay? No, 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 no problem. Um, for me, it's such an achievement and it's, I'm so proud. I'm proud to be from Scotland. I'm proud to represent Scotland. And it's wonderful because you've, we've seen so many, you know, superstars from Scotland. Drew McIntyre, I'm now teaming with Dewdrop. Uh, you have Kaylee Ray in NXT. Um, you had people in NXT UK from Scotland, you know, Gallus and Isla Dawn. And it's just, it's so, you know, we have Noam Dar as well, you know. So it's just, um, for me, being from Scotland and being able to represent my country, it's amazing. And being the first ever Scottish woman and um, being the first ever Scottish female champion, it's... It's incredible, and I just, I never get over it. I always have to pinch myself, um, and it really feels like a dream, and I'm, I'm proud of myself, and I'm proud of everything I've achieved. Um, Muy bien. Muy bien. Yes. Que bonito. <laughs> Congratulations. You deserve everything, really, yes. because it's not just because you are very talented, and I really mean it. It's as well because you have an amazing heart and mind, and you're very smart, and your charisma, I think you are a superstar and a superhero as well. Thank you. I, I couldn't do it without, you know, I I I have amazing I have amazing fans, I have an amazing family, wonderful friends, an amazing husband. And I just I really don't think I could do it with any without I couldn't do it without any of them, you know, like they're the there's you know, something to fight for, you know, so I'm very proud. <laughs> Pues bueno, este, ahorita me estaba diciendo como que se siente súper orgullosa acerca de todo lo que está pasando en su vida, porque tiene un gran equipo, porque tiene una gran familia, porque todo el tiempo, o sea, porque realmente viene como bien consolidada y viene bien fuerte. Eh, y ella dice que, que se siente muy orgullosa también.